Hello my wonderful YouTube family. I hope everybody's doing awesome. This is a video I'm very excited to make because the number one requests I receive on this channel, even though it's a nail channel, is crochet videos. And my crochet videos are the ones that have the most views. It's so strange to me. and I'm so appreciative of it. So it's obviously the number one request I receive. And I haven't made a crochet video in years. I just hadn't felt inspired. I had no ideas. And I do come up with my patterns out of scratch. Um, they're my patterns and I just come up with whatever I come up with. So today we're gonna be working on this beanie hat. It's just a nice casual beanie hat. And this scarf, I have a playlist on my channel of super simple crochet, pro uh, crochet projects. And I'm gonna paste it around here. And this scarf, I've already showed you how to make it. And I've made several scarves on my channel, crochet scarves. So uh, you can check it out and see which one you wanna pair up with your little beanie hat. Super easy, I'm gonna show you line by line how to get this beanie hat done. Let's get started. This is the yarn I'm going to be using. It's by Red Heart. And there's the color, it's the color buff. So apart from the yarn, you're also going to need a crochet hook along with a pair of scissors. This is the brand crochet hook I'm going to be using. And this is the size. So here's the tail of my project. And this is going to be where I'm pulling my main source of yarn. So to start off this project, I'm going to leave a little tail behind, about that long, and over this area I'm going to stretch out my fingers, I'm going to place my crochet hook, cause a little bit of tension, twist it, and go all the way around. And now I'm going to hold the tiny little tail with these two fingers, and with this hand I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the little loop. I created. So I'm going to show you one more time. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and place it into the little loop I've created. So, so far I have a chain of two there. I'm going to be creating a chain of 55. So I just finished with my braid of 50 and I want to make sure it's nice and flat so that the two ends come together evenly. So here's the last stitch I worked on and here's the first stitch we worked on. So I'm going to get my crochet hook and place it into the first stitch. So I'm just placing my crochet hook in through there. And there you could see the two stitches. So now I'm going to get my main source of yarn. And I'm going to wrap the crochet hook or the yarn around my crochet hook and bring that yarn in between those two stitches and that joins together the two ends. From here we're going to begin our round number one or our line one. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and I'm going to go into the following stitch. So here you could see this little pretzel shape. I'm going to go directly into that following stitch. I'm going to pull that yarn, wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through those three. Again, I'm going to do the same thing to each of the following stitches. Wrap the yarn around my crochet hook. There's the next stitch. I'm going to place my crochet hook in there. Pull the yarn through there. There you can see the three stitches. Wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through those three stitches. And that's the pattern we're going to have left behind. So I'm going to basically do this to each of my stitches of round one. So I'm about to close off the first line there. Uh, so I want to make sure it's nice again and straight and even. Let me show you a little bit farther away that it's nice and round and even um, before I close off the first round. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and go into the stitch, pull it out, wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in. So I'm about to start row two. 
And the way I'm gonna start row two is the same exact way I'm gonna continue doing the following 17 rows. So this would be row 18. I'm going to do 17 more the same exact way. So let me show you a little bit more, one more time. So here I am. I know I'm ending round one and beginning round or row two because I'm passing the little tail. And later on, you could even put a safety pin. That'll help you know every time you pass a row and begin a new one. Right here, I'm finalizing with the first line and beginning the second line. So what I'm gonna do to this following row two, along with the following 17 that follow is the same exact thing. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, bring it in through the stitch, pull the yarn out, there's my three stitches. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in. Again, one more time, it's basically the same thing. Wrap the yarn around my crochet hook. There's the following stitch. I'm gonna place my crochet hook in through there, pull that yarn. There's my three stitches. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through those three stitches. And basically that's it. That's how I'm gonna continue doing for the following 17 rows. And remember, I'm going to know when I'm passing a line and starting a new one every time I pass this little tail. So I've completed my 18 rounds. Now it's time to start with round 19 or line 19, and this is the round we're gonna start tightening. I put a safety pin here and it's in the same area where you find the little tail. That way I know every time I'm starting a new row, finalizing one and starting a new one. So let's start with row 19. For row number 19, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go once into every stitch for the following eight stitches. So I'm gonna wrap the yarn around the crochet hook, go into the stitch, pull the yarn. There's my three stitches. I'm gonna wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and bring it in through the three stitches. So I'm gonna continue doing that to the following seven stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, for number nine and number 10 stitch, I'm just gonna go, I'm not going to wrap the yarn around the crochet hook, I'm gonna go directly into stitch number nine, pull that yarn in, go directly into stitch number 10, pull that yarn through that stitch and there you see the three stitches. I'm going to wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and bring it in through the three stitches. So every eight stitches, I'm going to do exactly what I showed you right here. I'm gonna do it one more time. So I'm gonna go into the following eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now for number nine and number 10, again, I'm just gonna go directly into that stitch, pull the yarn through, there you see two stitches. Now I'm gonna go directly into stitch 10, pull that yarn, and there you see the three stitches, wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and bring it in through the three. So I'm gonna continue doing that all around row 19. I'm about to finish row 19. As you can see here, I'll be finishing it, but I wanted to show you guys uh, that if you're in the process of doing the pattern of going into eight of the stitches, then uh, tightening the following two, just complete that round even if you go over after the safety pin. For example, here I tighten these two rows, so following it would be one, two, three, four, and you could see there at five, that I'd be done. Actually at four, I'd be done. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna continue going. I'm at five, six, seven. I'm just pulling the yarn over here. 
and eight. And eight. So the following two should be the ones I tighten. So I am going to finish off the pattern. So I'm just going to go directly and pull, directly into number 10 as well and pull. And I finalize that round there. Even though it finished here, but I completed the pattern is what I'm trying to say. So if you get to this point and you haven't completed the pattern, just keep going until you do and then start from there. So now we're gonna start row 19. What we're gonna do for row 19 is just we're gonna go into every, every stitch the way we've been doing. So I'm gonna wrap the yarn around a crochet hook, go into the stitch, pull the yarn, there's the three stitches, wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in. So I'm gonna be going in into every stitch of row number 20. I just finished row 20. Now it's time to start row 21. For row 21, we're going to go into each of the following six stitches the same way we've been doing. So I'm going to go in one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now for stitch seven and eight, I'm going to use those two to tighten them. So I'm going to go straight into seven, pull the yarn, there's two stitches. Go straight into stitch number eight, pull the yarn, there's three stitches. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three stitches. So I'm going to continue that pattern all along round number 21. I've just completed round 21, now it's time to start round number 22. And I'm going to do it the same exact way we did round 21. I'm going to go into the following six stitches and stitch number seven and number eight, I'll tighten those two. So I'm going to show you one more time what I'm going to be doing for row number 22. So wrap the yarn around my crochet hook going into the following stitch and basically do the same thing for the following stitches. Six, there's three, four, five and six. Now for seven and eight I'm just gonna go directly in seven and pull eight and pull and there's the three stitches wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in and I'm gonna continue that pattern all around my row number 22. I'm about to finish with row number 22 and I only have one, two, about two more stitches and then you see the safety pin there. However, I'm going to finish the pattern. And once I finish the pattern of going into every six stitches and then tightening seven and eight, then I'll begin with the new pattern of row number 23. So I'm just gonna go into each of the following six stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five and six and you could see there I already passed the safety pin but I'm ignoring that and the following stitch which is seven and eight I'm just gonna go directly in and then to eight as well and tighten that so I'm officially finishing row number 22 and I'm about to begin row number 23 for row number 23 we're going to do the same exact thing except we're going to be going into the following five stitches now and then tightening stitch number six and seven. So I'm going to show you one time exactly how we've been doing. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And now for stitch number six and seven, I'm not going to wrap the yarn. We're going to do it the same exact way. I'm going to go directly into that stitch, pull that yarn, there you could see the two stitches. I'm gonna go directly into stitch number seven, pull that yarn, and there you could see the three stitches, wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in. So I'm gonna be following that pattern all along row number 23, going in once to every five stitches, and then stitch number six and seven, tightening. So I'm gonna do that all around round number 23. 
All right, so again, I have completed row number 23, and you could see there, in order to complete the pattern, I had to go a little bit over the safety pin again. Now we're about to begin row number 24. So the only thing we're gonna do now is the same thing, except we're gonna be going into the following four stitches, and for number five and six, those are the ones we're gonna tighten. So wrap the yarn, go in, to exactly how we've been doing it, one, two, three and four and now for number five and six we're going to go directly in pull directly go into six and pull wrap the yarn and bring it in and there you have it that's the pattern we're going to follow all along row 24 go into every four stitches stitch number five and six use those two to tighten them and do the same thing all around Alrighty, so I finished row number 24. It's time to begin row number 25. What we're gonna do for this row is we're gonna go into the following three stitches, and for stitch number four and five, those are the ones we're gonna tighten. So I'm gonna show you one time. So I'm gonna wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, go into that stitch, go into the following stitch number two, and now it's stitch number three. So three stitches, and for four and five, I'm going to use those two to tighten. So I'm going to go directly in and pull number four, directly into number five, and pull. There's my three stitches. Wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in. So I'm going to be following that pattern all around my row number 25, and you can see there the top of the hat's getting tighter and tighter. I just completed row number 25. It's time to begin row number 26. Now, what we're gonna do for this row is I'm gonna go into the following two stitches and use stitch three and four to tighten. So I'm gonna show you one time. So I'm going into that stitch, one, the following stitch, two. Now for stitch number three, I'm gonna go directly in. For stitch number four, I'm gonna go directly in and pull that yarn and tighten. So I'm gonna be doing, following that pattern all around. And you can see there it's getting tighter and tighter, smaller and smaller, so it's a lot quicker. So I'm going into every two stitches and using three and four to tighten. I just finished my row number 26. Now it's time to start row 27. And look how tiny that's getting. So the way we're gonna do row number 27 is we're gonna go into one stitch, and for stitch number two and three, those are the ones we're gonna to use to tighten. So I'm gonna show you one time. I'm going into the following stitch. Now, for stitch two and three, I'm gonna go directly in, pull that yarn. For stitch number three, directly in and pull that yarn. And just tighten those two. So I'm gonna continue doing that all around my row number 27. Just going into that one, the following one. And for number two and three, just going in once and tightening it. And it's so tiny already, it's super quick. So you can see there what the hat's looking like. It's rounding off to the tip. So what we're gonna do for the final row is we're gonna tighten every single one of the last stitches until we're done. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. So here's the little hole. I'm basically gonna go into the following stitch, one and two, and tighten. I'm gonna go into the next two. So it's one and two and tighten. The following two, I'm just gonna continue doing the same exact thing. There's one, there's two, and tighten. And you can see there that the little hole's becoming smaller and smaller, so I'm just gonna continue doing that until it completely seals off. So there's the tiny little hole you could see. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do one more stitch to finish and to close it off. I'm gonna go directly into this next following stitch and I'm going to pull the yarn through there and just pull the yarn through there. And that's gonna completely seal off the top hole. So there's no more little hole up there. Let me show you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the tail of the yarn, but I'm gonna leave some, a, a pretty long tail so I could knot it up from the inside of the hat. So I'm just gonna cut this area. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and pull it all the way through and tighten it. 
And now I'm gonna flip the hat over and bring this little tail of the yarn in through one of the stitches. So I'm placing the crochet hook in through there, wrapping the yarn, and I'm gonna bring it all the way in to the inside of the hat. Now, the inside of the hat is where you'll find the little tail. And we're just gonna make a knot on the inside. So I'm gonna place my crochet hook in and I'm gonna pull the yarn halfway only. And here are my two ends and I'm gonna be making a knot with these two ends. Now, if you know a better way to finish off your project, that's awesome. This is just the way I like finishing them off. And now I'm just gonna cut off the two ends. So that's what the hat looks like from the top. And let me zoom out the camera a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. So there is the completed hat. We just need to make the little pom-pom for the top and finish off where we started, this little tail. So that's what we're gonna do So next. you could see there that it looks somewhat uneven, so we wanna even it out as best as we can. So I'm gonna be placing my crochet hook into this stitch, which is the first stitch. I'm gonna pull my yarn through there, and I'm gonna go directly into the following stitch. And there I have two stitches. I'm gonna place this stitch into this stitch. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the following one. Just go directly in. There you have two stitches and place it in. Okay, so that evens it out as much as we're gonna be evening it out, as you could see there. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to do a knot with these two ends. And I want the knot to be on this side because we're gonna be folding the hat like this. And I don't want the knot to be showing on the outer part. So we're gonna be doing the knot on this part. So I'm just going to be doing a knot with these two sections. I'm going to get a stitch and I'm going to bring it in through another stitch and drag it in like that. And I'm just going to be making a knot with these two sections. And as you can see there, the knot is on the inside part where we're going to be folding. So it makes, you won't be able to see it. It's gonna be on the inside. So there's the knot. Now I'm just gonna cut the two little tails. So there you can see the two ends. It looks pretty straight. So now when you fold the hat, you won't be able to see a difference. Now it's time to remove the safety pin so they could, we could work on the little pom-pom. And there it is. All right, so here's the tail of the yarn. I'm gonna stretch out my fingers as far as they go, and I'm gonna wrap around 50 times. There's two, three, four, five, and just continue going till you get to 50 rounds. I already went 50 times around, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be cutting the little tail. Okay, once you cut the little tail, you're gonna lay it flat and you're gonna cut another piece of yarn. So with the yarn I cut, I'm gonna place it, and I'm gonna get these 50 rounds I rolled up and place it right in the middle. And now what I'm gonna do with the yarn I cut is I'm just gonna tighten it really tight. And I'm gonna make a knot. Now I'm gonna flip it over, just making sure that it's nice and tight. And I'm gonna round it off just so it's super as tight as I possibly can get it. I'm gonna do the same thing. You could just tighten this up as tight as you know how. That's the point. You wanna just tighten it up as tight as you can. Okay, so there you have it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get my scissors, there's my two ends, and I'm gonna cut my ends, both of them, making sure I get all the loops on both sides. And you don't wanna cut the tail because we're gonna be using that to latch it onto the tip of the hat. So I'm just going in, as you can see, they're super simple and super fun, I love doing this. 
I remember when my daughter was young, we made a scarf full of these little pom-poms. And you might lose some. Don't worry about losing some. Um, and just round it off as best as you can. It's okay if some are a little bit longer. And there's one half. Alrighty, so there's the little pom-pom. What we're gonna do now with the two little ends is we're gonna latch it on to the tip of the hat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the two little ends of the pom-pom and we're gonna stick them in through the sides of the last stitches we made. All right, so I think it looks pretty even there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip the hat to the underside and tie up these two ends. And there's the inside of the hat and there is the outside of the hat. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and give these beanie hats a try. It's super simple to make as you could see in the video and I hope that you guys do give these a try because it's uh, and for me it's so therapeutic to sit there and crochet and I'm really gonna try to come up with more patterns. I'm not sure how soon I'll be able to come up with another pattern but I will try to come up with another one soon. Thank you so much for watching kisses and super big hugs to each and every one of you thank you take care and i'll see you guys next time bye